In, in this video, we'll be talking about how you can support your customers who are physically disabled, particularly those who use a mobility aid like myself, I use a power chair. And when we talk about disability, one of the first things that people often think about is like wheelchairs and mobility aids. They are one of the most like visible and obvious signs that a person has a disability. In fact, in our research, over 75% of the people who took part used a mobility aid of some sort. So what can you do to best support us? The first thing is ramps. Now, for me, ramps are really important because without pointing out the obvious, it is so much easier to get on a bus using the ramp. And I recently went on a bus journey from Crowbridge to Bath and I can safely say it was one of the best experiences I've had recently using public transport. But remember the ramp isn't just there to help individuals in wheelchairs but actually anyone that might benefit from it. If you see someone who's using a wheelchair or a walking aid um, you know, like a walker or just someone that you think may find that step difficult, you can offer to deploy the ramp. See it as a mobility ramp rather than a wheelchair ramp. And although ramps do improve access, for some people they're still quite difficult to use. Like it is hard work pushing up here if you're in a manual chair and some people don't necessarily have the strength to do that independently. Um, if you're able to, it is helpful if you can ask the passenger if they need any help getting up the ramp. Um, if they say they're okay and they don't need help, then listen to that. Um, if they do say they want help, then just simply ask what you can do and how you can help them. But remember, never touch somebody's wheelchair without their permission. Lowering the bus each time you open the doors helps a lot of people. In fact, in, in our research, the bus not being lowered was the single biggest barrier that people face while getting onto the bus. Mm. It is not possible to tell simply on appearance who will benefit from a lowered bus since so many disabilities are hidden. So we recommend that you make it your practice to lower the bus every single time that you pick up a passenger. Lowering that bus may just make the difference between someone being able to board your bus and not being able yeah. to. Lowering the bus is also important when you did when you did the run. Look at the difference between someone boarding the bus without the bus lowered compared to when it had been lowered. The next thing is about having patience. Once you're on the bus, navigating your wheelchair into the correct position is like no easy task. Um, and for some people it can be like the most daunting part of boarding the bus, especially when there is a bus full of people watching you. So here's a few things you can do to make that process a little bit easier for wheelchair users. Be patient, reassuring. The manoeuvring, believe me, can be a nightmare. And Mary, as Mary just mentioned, especially when the bus is quite busy, because again, you're conscious of keeping, keeping people waiting, so just, if needed, be a reassuring voice. The thing that I think that we need the bus drivers to know is that we would take a bit longer to get on, and particularly getting off. Uh, as it's might take a bit longer to actually manoeuvre to show that we are actually getting off. The next tip will vary depending on each bus design, but some buses have removable arms by the wheelchair space. If there is one on your bus, then please offer to raise it up or raise it up, um, as it is so much easier to get into that space when that bar is up rather than down. Everyone will manage differently. So again, if you're able to, offer assistance. But remember, if, if the passenger does say they don't need help, 
then respect the answer. Some, sometimes the bar is quite difficult to lift up, um, and, but if it's movable it's, it's a bit better to move. But I do find getting out of the bus quite difficult because sometimes I can't do it fully myself. Wait until people are seated before you move off. Another barrier that came up again and again in our research was the importance of waiting until everyone had sat down before moving off. This is so important in keeping the passengers safe, whether they have a disability or not. As a driver, you champion accessibility, particularly on your bus. This includes ensuring the wheelchair space on your bus are is available for a wheelchair user should they want to board the bus. And always make sure that push chairs are far are folded and moved if they're blocking the space. Just tap you accessibility. As we mentioned before, the next thing you can do is think about your attitudes. We know the buses often have to run to a really tight schedule and supporting disabled customers properly does take a bit of extra time. But this doesn't mean that any of this should be ignored or skipped through. A bus that's running late still needs to be a bus that's accessible for disabled people. Many of the steps that we've given have been physical, but actually the attitude in which you do them is just as important as the action itself. Yeah. We've all experienced like an eye roll there, or like a sigh there when someone has to get the ramp out or move out the way for us. Or even, the ramp's not working, I can't get it out. Exactly, and so these things are all really important and when you board a bus and you're met by someone who's sighing at you or rolling their eyes, like, it just makes you feel really rubbish. In reality, putting a ramp down or lowering the bus takes no more time than being stuck in a bit of traffic or being held at a red light. So when you're supporting a disabled passenger, do so with politeness and patience. Um, some, some bus drivers where I live, they, they are really, really helpful and, they, and they've got to know me very well because I use them regularly but other drivers are not so helpful so that makes me feel like I shouldn't be out, you know, because I need help, that just makes me feel 